Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Janelle Higgins. Joining me in the studio now are Michael Utoff, Artistic and Executive Director of Dance St. Louis, and Edwin Alvira, former dancer and now teacher. So you guys are here to tell us a little bit more about Dance St. Louis and your upcoming production of Palabolas. Yes, we are. And uh, Edwin is a representative of Palabolas. He was a dancer with them for many years. And we're very fortunate that he's come to St. Louis to work with our inner city kids, part of our educational program, explaining them what Pilobolis is all about and encouraging them to learn about dance in a way that they've never known dance to be. And where did you come to St. Louis from? Um, right prior to coming here, I was in New Haven, and I did a program with Pilobolis called Moving. Um, I was there for 26 days, and then I went to Milwaukee and then came here. So. Oh wow, so what do you think of St. Louis so far? Oh my god, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so it's such a large city, an amazing city, and, and a beautiful architect around the area. It so. is a great city. Well, we're yeah. glad that you're here. Like Can it. you talk a little bit more about Palabolas for people that don't know? Sure, sure. It yeah. has a funny name and yeah, don't really sure. know Palabolas the meaning behind it. Palabolas is a world-renowned modern dance company. They've been around since 1971. Uh, um, started by four guys who were non-dance majors and created a unique form of movement uh, through contact improv. And uh, in the beginning, their dances were very structural, and, um, and then over time, they started adding layers of story and psychology behind their movement. Uh, now, Palabolas has been seen on Conan O'Brien, um, Good Morning America, Oprah twice. So it's a, it's a really a, and th the great thing is, you don't have to be a dancer to love Palabolas. You can just be someone who, who likes interesting and creative things. So, so anyone really could go and enjoy Anyone from show. kids to adults, yeah. And how many people are in the show? What does it take to put on this show? Sure, so in the main company, there, it's called P7, and there are seven dancers. There are five men and uh, two women. Okay, so there's not very many dancers no, then. So no. they're working really hard. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much on stage all the time, and they're skilled, very skilled artists. So. And so um, where exactly is the show? How long is the show? Uh, Michael? Well, the performances <laughs> are on the 9th and 10th okay. of this month at the Two Hill Performing Arts Center which is a, a beautiful location up in the campus of U University of Missouri, St. Louis. And it's at 8 o'clock on Friday and 2 and 8 o'clock on Saturday. So it's at UMSL um, coming so, up Yeah, this the Sewell Performing Arts Center. It, it's, it's like Edwin pointed out. It's one of those shows that transcend any kind of idea people might have of dance. It appeals to the, the masses. It's the precursor to everything you see in Cirque du Soleil. Soleil and they do it with far less fanfare. It's, it's a great, great family, great family show, great artistic endeavor. Okay, and so how much are tickets and where can people get tickets from? Uh, the tickets can be bought through the San, Dan St. Louis box office at 314-534-6622. And they range from $35 to $55. Okay, and these pictures on the screen, are these some pictures of the show people will see this weekend or are these just other shows that Dance St. Louis puts on? No. These, are, these are pictures that you're gonna see in the show. This, this particular picture is with OK Go. It's a collaboration they did with Trish C. Um, and th I think this was done two years ago and it was in collaboration with Google and HTML5. This next picture is with um, a collaboration with C.D. Larby who is a choreographer from Belgium um, and it's called Automaton. It's their latest work. And let's see what other pictures. This next picture is with uh, Trish C again. This is the choreographer of OK Go. And it's her new latest video called um, Water uh, Skyscrapers. So it's and pretty nice. And that's me. There oh, I am. That? That's a collaboration with an uh, Israeli dance company called Imbal Pinto and Ashvalon Pollock. The piece is called Rushes. And uh, that particular moment, that's called The Chair Monster. Oh my goodness, the chair monster looks painful. Very painful. Is it really painful? <laughs> really painful, especially <laughs> when you have to finesse, um, when you have to bring all these chairs to life and make it look like um, you know, you're, you're graceful under all this weight and stress. So yeah, pretty intense. Yeah, I don't envy you, but that's amazing that you can do that. And so there will be amazing things like that in the show this yes. weekend as mm -hmm. well. Not the mm -hmm. chair monster though, Not right? the ch Well, the chair monster will be there, but I won't be in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so there will be a chair monster if you go this weekend. Just sure. you won't be yes, the one yes. in pain doing that for the audience. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Well, we're going to talk much more about the show and much more about Dance St. Louis Great. when we come back because we have to take a quick break. We'll have more with Michael and Edwin when we return. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us streaming live on stltv.net. We'll be back with more after this.